It's a Browns tradition that may be in jeopardy, and it's also against the law. Open container alcohol consumption during the Browns tailgate at the Muni lot. And now week three of the NFL season, and the city of Cleveland is moving forward with stepped up enforcement. There are a lot of other things right now that I think we should be focusing on, and this isn't one of them. Cleveland Councilman Joe Simperman says members of the Cleveland Safety Committee are puzzled by the move since it wasn't generated by residential complaints. I want to know from the chief of police why we're doing this now. We haven't had a hearing in the safety committee. We haven't seen any data other than we're going to start enforcing it. And as you might guess, Cleveland's Burnt River Browns backers are also wondering why. The city of Cleveland, if they start forcing people into private lots, you're going to lose a lot of revenue from your, your parking. And um, I just, I don't understand it. And News Channel 5 contacted Cleveland City Hall about the stepped up enforcement of the open container law here at the Muni lot. They could not provide anyone for us on camera. However, they did issue a statement confirming the stepped up enforcement. Browns backers are hoping that doesn't mean there'll be confrontations here at the Muni lot this coming Sunday. You're going to be down here this weekend. Are you going to be drinking out of an open container? Well, I will. I will be walking through the Muni lot and I, I will have a cup. And uh, what's in that cup, I think, is, is my business. And, uh, you know, we're going to see what happens. But uh, I'm going to encourage all Browns fans to, you know, be aware that, you know, this seems to be like a real situation.